fine. Are we recording? And pump filter. Assembly. I think so. And pump. I think the podcast is happening. Johnny Bill. clicked a oh, thing. We started. A we did, but we're gonna keep going while you go. Well, I don't know how to spell assembly. A s s e m b o y. Hey, hey, guys, shut up. No. What, what do we have here, Jim? No. no. We started this <laughs> Wait, before. Keep going. Sir. Keep going. I'm asking a hundred bucks. She offered uh-huh. me fifty. What should my um, response be? Asking. <laughs> Don't hit the fucking buttons on me. Daryl learned how to use the soundboard. <laughs> Motherfucker 30. kicking me out of my job. Third. How do I tell her off? Yes. I asked AI is teaching you how to shit 50. talk. No. Yes, we're Third. asking AI, how should oh. I respond to this marketplace person that offered me half of what In I'm asking? In case you didn't realize, this okay, is okay, episode okay. three. <laughs> yeah. It's important to communicate respectfully. You That's could say something like, you, I appreciate your offer, but I believe the value of the Ford 6.4 liter Super Duty fuel line <laughs> and pump assembly is worth closer to $50. Would you? <laughs> no! To I'm asking 100 <laughs> Oh, well, I have that up. Yes. Here, read what I wrote. Jesus read what I wrote into the AI. Oh, my God. If you can read that. If you're still listening, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, remember when oh, we did yeah, a podcast totally about beer? I really up that one up. <laughs> do you guys remember that podcast about beer? What was it called? High Gravity? No, no, I, I think do. it was called Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> there was a group called, called High Drink Gravity something. Sessions. Fuck that. That's not a... Yeah, I agree. Wait, don't turn the channel. You've tuned into High Gravity. The show where we talk about beer, brewing, and bullshit. Where the only thing we take seriously is the next round. So grab a glass, fill it with something cold, and enjoy the show. So this today, song. we're talking more about founders again, because we had some founders Ooh. beer dropped off. Yep. I, went, yeah, we had a, we I got, went to Canada once, and they looked at me and said, we got this great beer, and it's called Founders. I'm like, I want something that's not from Michigan. <laughs> so we have we have three different founders with us today, so we, we just had some varieties. We thought we I would mean, the uh, three of us did highlight some Michigan the, beers. <laughs> so this this is actually one we've had before with a little bit of a twist. Um, this is Lizard of Cause. Did we have it on the podcast? We did. I've, I'm almost certain we've drank this, just not... This is the barrel age version. It is six year barrel age. It's got an iguana on the label, and Ooh, I, I've always I like loved iguanas. iguanas. They're cool. I, mean, so, okay, I, I had iguanas when I was a kid, ago. so they've got a special place I, in my heart. I had a chance to have one that was like three and a half foot long a few yeah, years back. I, and we, I, I his name was Willie, yeah. and he was just uh, over three feet long. Was he wet? I don't know. <gasps> I had an iguana too. Yeah, I had, I I had an iguana. His name was Gek or Gringo. Mine was <laughs> I had Iggy and Willie. He was from not from here. So we had two. I had a stuff. Actually, you mentioned Iggy. I had a stuffed pet, like a stuffed iguana, like a stuffed toy when I was little, and its name was Iggy. Yeah, my, my living iguana. I think I it was, it was from it. a cartoon. There was a cartoon with an iguana named Iggy. I, I, can't I don't remember, remember why I liked it or anything, so but back I to always the beer. wanted one. No, fuck off. We're talking about iguanas. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is iguana beer. Welcome to the iguana, iguana show, beer? sponsored by High Gravity. This is uh, six Ooh, years barely. Can you make a beer with iguana as the meat? You just use the tail because it grows back. No, I don't know what that really would that be not like. The way you uh, think what, it does. Not the tequila. What's um? We can't, guava, shit, guava. What's we can't keep these motherfuckers <laughs> on task. That's a fruit. Hey, sorry, we're, we're this back. is a we're podcast back. about beer. We're back. Can we focus on the beer? <laughs> Maybe. Shut the fuck up. Six <laughs> year barrel aged lizard of Kaz. It is an imperial stout brewed with blueberries. Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Imperial stout brewed with blueberries, chocolate, and vanilla aged in bourbon barrels for six years. <laughs> the description says, We often say that our tap rooms are the heart and soul of founders. But what's the heart and soul of the tap rooms? Our 2,000 plus mug club members? Of course, to celebrate our most loyal fans, we've launched a lineup of hyper limited bottled beer just for them the mug club exclusive series none of us are mug club members at founders but we have this so so I, before we do this i, I want to know one time i want to know what you guys were doing six years ago 2018 years at 2018 i know what i was doing i was putting a roof on this place <laughs> i started working on the boat Ooh. and i messaged you guys in an email asking if y'all were going to be hiring for a job and nobody answered me for like nine months that was his department <laughs> I remember that. Event. You remember that email? Care, yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. I opened the beer. You couldn't hear it over no, the raucous no. display. But it also, it also made no noise. I'm afraid Blood fell because he's the new guy to the group. So you're going to get So now you didn't it. like the original version. 
I'm not a big Lizard of Cos fan, no. Um, I've never had it, so I'm kind of... I uh, haven't had it yet. The smell off the bottle is nothing impressive. Let's 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 listen to it pour. Raise it. Give the raise. Fuck you. It has a nice pour, though, to it. It's... Yeah, you, you guys can do the, the better pour. I, I only wanted a low Oh, let's see. Squish, 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 spore, pour, pour. You don't add it. notes to it. You just... <laughs> what the fuck is that? It smells like... <laughs> <laughs> it smells no, no, like no, chocolate gonna... and shit. <clears throat> it smells boozy. It smells syrupy and sweet. Did it say what the ABV was? I didn't see the ABV on there. It's I actually kind of like the smell, though. A little boozy, but it's got like a sweetness. I didn't aroma. mean to pour very, the rest of that in there. It just, it just happened. It's almost got like a chocolate cake smell, but like a chocolate cake if it was like going off, like if it's mm. starting to mold. I'm like, not that it percentage. smells like mold, it just smells like bad chocolate cake to me. 10.8%. I don't think it smells like bad chocolate It does anything. not smell like 10%. I'd give it like an 8. Definitely smell chocolate in it, though. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. Huh. Kind of smells like a chocolate truffle. I get a little okay. bit of like, it's like a like, 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 like dried too. dried blueberries with so, dark chocolate, but not what year in a is this? good way. Does anybody else get a kind of cherry flavor on the... I get, I get, I get, I get the blueberry. I get all the blueberries. They're, they're berries, not cherries. Is that what the, I get that tartness? It's like, if tartness. you've ever had chocolate, like dark chocolate covered dried blueberries. Yeah. It tastes yeah, it's, like that, it's but like not blueberry, good. Not cherry. But blueberries always have a tartness, like a... Yeah, tartness. I'm not it. a blueberry fan, and I, I love blueberries. Not, uh, no, I'm out. I gotta be. You know, does anyone else get a hint of root beer? I don't get root. I get a little beer. bit I, of root beer. I, I I see where it's coming from, but I can't identify what it is. But I see it. I I feel I, it. I taste I it. I keep wanting to try it because like I don't like it, and then it's like, but wait. I don't know why this one's so sweet to me. Like, know, it's but wait, it has sweetness. More. I think in there, the know, blueberries really throw me off. Because like, oh. I can taste the chocolate, the sweetness in it, and I'm okay with it. I, yeah, I get some of the vanilla. I, I don't know what you're saying. I got I my don't. headphones on. I can't hear what you're I'm saying. I'm very confused about it. Taste it. I don't I give a shit. My mic. I'm very confused. What did you do? Did you just mouth the mic? Sniffed it like you oh, did sniffed. earlier. <laughs> I did <laughs> sniff my beer. I sniffed the mic. <laughs> It's, so it it's, makes it's y'all very fib. confusing. So the bag that I store the mics in, one oh. of the mics got a little bit of yeah. transfer of the glue <laughs> when I modified the mic bag, and I try to keep that I mic don't. to me. So, and I, I don't see the marks on the, the foam. So, so we had so, a hidden guest in here, too, and I won't say who it was, just for whatever you reasons. You could. No, but just right, in case. Right. I don't know why. To be fair. So the person comes over, he, she. Uh, no, 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 no. You got to use fair. all your vowels. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The I one did. He, she. Paying attention. I did. He, she. <laughs> <laughs> Came and tasted it and said it wasn't bad, but definitely blueberry. Yeah. 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 Definitely I don't, blueberry. I don't honestly like it. I don't either. No. I like blueberries, though, so I like I it. I don't like this, blueberries. This is, this is a dump. If, if the blueberries. No, I'll were, take it. I don't think it's a dump. I will, too. I, I'm a blueberry guy. If the blueberries guy, weren't in it, though, would have been a lot better. I just don't. I just don't like it. I think the blueberry taste is good. I don't like blueberries. Um, I, no, he doesn't like I love blueberries. I, so but, you love blueberries and he hates cherries. He doesn't like blueberries. I don't like blueberries. See, I think you this know. is. Fine. I like blueberries and cherries. I love all berries. But would I buy it again? No. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy. It. I, I wouldn't drink it again. for free again. If you offered this to me free, I'd be like, no, thank you. Oh, this, see, no, I'm cheap. Free. If it were free, I would do that just because it's high proof. I don't like the original Wizard of Oz, and I don't like this. <laughs> I like the Wizard of Oz. It's a good movie. Yeah, that's what that's Horn what it is. Version. Rule 34. I've never seen the dirty version. <laughs> neither I neither have I, for the record. <laughs> I have th- no comment. Rule 34, Wizard of Oz. Just Google it. It's a deep-seated conspiracy. You'll figure it out. We might have to look at that. <laughs> yeah. But I can see that going a whole bunch of different ways because the whole conspiracy about the the dude that was in the trees in the background. Oh, there's so the much filming. of that. Like, yeah, it's, it's, I'm sure it's all mm. fucking dumb. Maybe. All right, so we're going to have to move on to the next one here. I'm, yeah, I'm going to open up the next one because I'm Does that not. Does mean I have to slam it? Oh, cheers. Cheers, brother. There's there's just like a little bit of dregs in there. I don't even want that. Like, that is. 
<clears throat> it's not the worst it, beer we've had, but I don't like Ooh. it. It definitely wasn't the worst. I, I, it it wasn't the best beer, and it wasn't the worst. So that I explains. didn't fully enjoy it though I'm, at all. I'm not so lie. this one, this one might be a little bit more of a palate cleanser. This is a little more traditional. This is a little more the speed of what we we like. Uh, porter with vanilla extract and maple syrup aged in bourbon Ooh, barrels. I like, that that I like maple. I, everything with maple syrup. I love it. This yeah. is this is also from Founders. Did you this is to called the maple syrup episode where I almost choked and died. <laughs> It's unfortunate that the first part happened and not the second. Oh. Um, this one's called Panther Cub from I was like, uh, from we Founders. Almost met, didn't meet you. Yeah. So the description of this one is a robust porter. Panther Cub is aged in the finest bourbon barrels available, along with a kiss of maple syrup and vanilla extract. The aroma of maple and vanilla combine with a surprisingly deep character to make a rare creature one to gaze upon fondly. Don't let it fool you. This kitty has claws. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I knew, I'm glad everyone else's brain went there. <laughs> yeah, mine did, but it didn't vocalize it fast enough. <laughs> All right, let's add this empty cap to the stack we've got here. Anyone else realize half of our content is what should be edited out? Here, psst, 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 psst. All right. Whoa, what? That well, one. Jesus Christ. Would you like to join us, Miss Hidden Guest? Mr. or Miss Hidden Guest? Yeah, you're, you're, you're back there cleaning and making all kinds of noise that the microphones very much pick up. You're not you could join us. Why are you doing things? I'm working for my beer. <laughs> I, I, I'm not. <laughs> I had to buy beer to get into this podcast. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just and drinking you for free. Work here. You can always join us. Oh, so here we go. Let's. <laughs> Let's let's Ooh. pour off some of this panther cup. This is from Founders. Um, what would a panther sound like? Meow. Exactly. <laughs> you never heard a panther before? Come on. <laughs> never heard a panther. I live in Michigan. I've never heard a panther. Uh, uh, there's Michigan panthers. <laughs> when I, I thought we called them cougars, and they were mostly in the bars. <laughs> you got to go farther you know, up north. Like, so funny story about cougars. I I was at Hamlin wait, down in wait, Chesterfield. Wait. Thank you. It sounds so beautiful. There you go. I was a Hamlin down in Chesterfield, and I I got there late one night, and there was this this, this woman there who was drunk as fuck, and she takes my hand, and is like, "Oh, where where are you from?" Was she a cougar? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Was she a lightning cougar or just a cougar? Because there's differences. Jesus that was Murphy. Loud. God. Damn, that was loud. I just pooped so, myself. <laughs> just seriously, like my butthole puckered. <laughs> this one smells better than the last beer. This one smells <laughs> more like a real chocolate kind of smell. Oh, I smell. Yes, yeah, this, this is a 2021 grabbed, release, by the way. She, she grabbed my hand, and account. so I, as, as most people know here, I I do wear a dog tag. That's the cross. This is the dog tag. This is when I just wore the dog tag. It, it said about where the cross is. So <clears> your dog tag. Said to look at the cross to read it. No, no, no. This was before the cross. Oh, okay. so but but imagine that sitting there. And, yeah. And and for those of you who are listening and not watching, I wear dog tag and a cross. The cross sits a little bit lower than the dog tag. So when I'm drinking at the bar with this lady who's drunk as fuck, she grabs it and she goes, well, "What's that say?" And I I lean in. Did she pull you in, dude? Oh, she pulled me in. You and wrote I, about it. She didn't want you in. to pull out either. <laughs> I leaned in and she goes, What's that say? And yanked it off of my fucking neck so she could read it because she was that drunk. Oh. <laughs> so I'll tell you what this I don't even think they've tasted it yet. They've been talking. No, I, I haven't. tasted it. I haven't. I haven't even smelled no, it yet. No, I didn't but taste it. This Panther Club, being a porter, I thought it was going to be a little on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. I smell sweeter. Doesn't really taste sweeter. It's though. not super sweet. No, smell, it's, not, it's not a sweet. I, I, I smell, smell the barrel. I out smell of it, raisin like the in the note. In, in the you smell raisin. The chocolate in the it, nose. It yeah. has a nice like. I I don't taste the vanilla so much Ooh, as like I chocolate. That. I get that. Like once once you drink it, I, I get like a dryness up front, and then the chocolate kind of slowly comes in, and it's more of a milk chocolate than like a dark chocolate. I really don't it's get smoother. Maybe that's the it's vanilla. It's like an in between. I'm up. I think it is. Yeah. I don't feel it milk. I don't feel it dark. I feel it kind of in the middle. But it's very smooth. Yes. That comes across. Forget as everything smooth. else I was saying. Fuck that. We'll go back to the beer because this is more important. I thought it was going to be sweeter, though. Yeah. It smells sweeter, especially with the maple syrup. I don't really notice too much of the up, maple syrup. Up front? Right? Yeah. To I don't summarize the story, and I'm going to talk over them because it's funny. She ripped my dog tag off. He muted you. <laughs> don't hit the goddamn He's touching your buttons. 
You teach one motherfucker how to use the goddamn board, and then he you fucks teach him. me anything. He learned on his this own. This is true. That means he, he's sentient. The button literally says mute. I mean, you look at the red light One, for two, who's three, talking. Four. Yes. Yes. No, I can't read. Just guess. <laughs> well, you look at the red light, and there's a... Never mind. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so she ripped my dog dig off, and then she takes my hand, and she, like, kisses my hand. And this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been in my life. Wait, a cougar kissed your hand, and you survived? Yeah. yeah. She kissed my hand and, like, pulled it in and kissed me. And, like, I am so sorry that I did that because she ripped it off my neck and broke the chain that holds that onto me. Good. No, in Thank all you. fairness, I got a discount card for the bar that she owned that was supposed to be good for like a year and a half. She's like, I'm so it's sorry. Here, take this. Time. Wait, this cougar can... owned a bar? She owned a very well known local I bar. I feel like you missed an opportunity. Yeah. Oh, I definitely did I... because I had 50% off of anything that I purchased for the next year and a half and I never went. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think I would have went. I would. I should have. I should have. I, I mean, you, you could have had a chance. You could turn that to five I, years. I, yeah. I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, two. I didn't want a chance with that. Oh. But I wanted no. the, the discount. Where's your sense of adventure? You never know. Just did I it for the best off time of your life. I didn't have it at that time. Now I do. She might uh, She might teach you a thing or two. I'm down for learning. You I'm know? always an I read a lot of service. I'm a, I'm I'm a student of life. I'm down for teaching. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So about this panther cub. Um, hey, yeah, back to the beer. Why are we fucking here? Because we Something... started talking about cougars and panthers. So Did what, anyone what... read the description of this? Because I don't yeah, remember yeah, what I we're read. supposed to say. I, I, I we went, uh, went over that because it's my job. So I do like this. Yeah, I, don't, very, I don't dislike it. I don't know that I, like, I would... I'd want to order it regularly. I think maybe if it was on draft or something, maybe it'd be a little order better. It. Yeah, I would it's not good. drink it again. I like it. I don't know, but compared to like the Lizard of Oz or this one, Panther Cub, I go with Panther Cub. Oh, it's way better than Lizard of Oz. Yeah. I definitely like it. It Without is getting doubt, better. Can we like mix like all these names together and say them at once? Because that would be really messed up. Lizard of Panther Cub? No, no. Where's my combs? Imperial Lizard of Panther Cub? Lizard Baltic. Imperial Panther. Oats. Polish. Again, we I'm apologize. Not, I'm not finishing the last word. <laughs> no, we don't apologize here. This this is good. Um, this is definitely better than Lizard of Kaz. I'm I'm excited to try the next one because the next one the is kind of the. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that to be the little guy. I thought it was her. <laughs> Like, Johnny, you're such a fucking ass. I'm not gonna lie, asshole. I totally thought that was you, not him. <laughs> and I had a whole thing planned out to respond to that, and now it's all inappropriate. You're such a prick, Johnny. Asshole. I know that Why I don't do we give even a have shit. you on this show? You know what, Daryl? I think we can record this by ourselves. Let's, yeah, nope. let's bring on Phil. And... Not happening. <laughs> but I bring the mics and the cables. And God damn it, I have Amazon. We can get more mics. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't get rid of Johnny. Come on now. We no, we can't get rid of him. He he, he would be a lot I'm to bury. Necessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, not so much necessary. We just like you. Why? They don't have other options. Listen, I ask myself that question all the time too. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, Daryl finished his beer. That means I should finish my beer. Oh, wait, well, no. <sighs> yeah, I would drink that again. I would drink oh, that. I forgot we have one more. One Panther Cub. One more. I would have liked to have tried that last year. I, I think to, that might have I been need, even I better. I need to use the little boys from now. Again? He's getting there. So I got a, I got a weak black. You're like an old man. I kind of feel I'm like, like I have a narrow you know urethra, what? Peggy. Yes! I'm like a 90 year old man stuck <laughs> in a 30 year old body. At four. I saw Ooh. propane and so propane accessories. You know, I got a buddy who can do... No! Oh. Do you, do you know, if I say the name Justin Mills, do you know who that is? Yes. Yes. So he can do um, <laughs> Hank Hill like nobody's business. Oh. Justin, if you're listening, I am going to text me. You have my number. Bobby. Oh, hold on. The role of Phil Starr will now be played by Becky. Hello. <laughs> uh, she's Just so in time sober. to open a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Don't get it on the table. I didn't. I got it on me and said, like, we opened this and it exploded. Or in here. Or in here. Or that. I'm sure it's not the first time something's been all over your hand. It's not. The last last episode we had a beer explode. Oh, poor little... 
Uh, you want more? Well, hell yeah, I mean, it's a big bottle. You oh, just threw that on my you fucking You totally cup. fucking missed the entire... Like, you hit every dry space under where that spilled. Is this one clean? Can I use it on the bottle? Use it whatever you want. Okay. I want. Well, I wanted to use it on the... Clean yes, up the bottle clean. before I clean the, the floor with it. And then... Here you go, Becky. You can pour a beer since you're Phil now. <laughs> Hi, you, Phil. So welcome to the show's regular guest, Phil. What what do you say about this beer? I don't even know what it is or what we just poured. Did, did we, you guys read the... This is Russian Imperial Stout. I don't know. I, I have Jim, to read it Jim, did you read yeah. the bottle? Uh, it's, listen. We're doing a Founders Russian Imperial Stout. I'll give it the bottle to him and he can read it. It, it exploded. We oh, had a little bit of an phenomenal. emergency. You went off a little premature, eh? It's all over it my, happens. All over my it jeans does, does. now. They make pills. I can't remember the last time it happened. All right, so this is uh, the barrel aged Imperial Stout from Founders, twelve and a half percent. So this one's a little more standard. That you know, it's just a regular Imperial Stout. There's nothing fancy about it. Um, there's also no description on the bottle. So uh, for the first time, I didn't do my job, but it didn't matter. It has uh, a smoky taste to me all of a sudden. It does. I haven't tried it yet. I had. God damn it! What the hell is that? I wasn't expecting smoke flavor. <clears throat> I, I feel like it just it smells very much like a lot of the other beers that we've had, like the Imperial Stouts we've had today. It did, but when you taste it, you're going to taste smoke. Yeah, I, I definitely do. Really strong. That's all I taste is smoke. And she's the sober one here. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I mean, she was inducted, right? Okay. Yes. I was just walking by. No, I eat ball. No, she literally was just walking by the brewery. We saw her through the window Wait, and invited her in. And we all waved creepily out the window like, hey, hi, how's it going? <laughs> she came in moment. and had a beer and started cleaning the brewery. <laughs> so, like, if you hear any noise from the last two episodes, it was it was just Becky cleaning the brewery. But <laughs> It was all the same episode, sir. Yeah. Phil, Phil, got, up, Phil got up to pee, and now hey, all of this a sudden. Was, was replaced. this last weekend of this week, or was this week into the next week? Yeah, exactly. Yep. I'm not expected to know. Oh, I know that guy too. Did Phil hey, know? motherfucker! <laughs> don't, don't. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I know who it is. We just gotta invite him in and make him sit down and just start talking. Oh, he needs to join us. Another, he won't. Another one of our he regular friends he here. Hey, Phil, unlock the door. Oh, he's joining you. Yes. Oh, yeah. He'll be we back. Gotta get He'll him be back. back. We're, we're going to have him try this beer and you can tell us. Can, can I take you, my shirt off just hey, to fuck hey, with him? Hey, Gary. No, what? Come here. I got something hey. to try. <laughs> hey. Hi. How are you? Yeah, no. You Come are. and say hi. <sighs> you know what? That's, I don't fucking care. This is why every I am three every times three your episodes, size. I'll pick you up, bring you over here. Come and say every hi. Every three episodes, it turns into a shit show. It's almost like so, they record oh, three of at these. At least come right up to now. the mic and say hi. That's Wait, the rule. Right now, he's doing the tradition to start the podcast. Oh, yeah, he's he's oh yes. There. That he's is the tradition. Tradition. You've been initiated now. you got to come say hi at least. How do you like tradition? Is it pretty good? <laughs> no, you have to come over here and say hi. <laughs> yeah, you fucking do. <laughs> yeah, he's done. <laughs> I am twice your size. I'm you know, it, it's weird. Just three times. No, it's twice. It's weird, guys. I it's almost too, like we record this at a brewery when it's closed. That fucking mute me. What the fuck? We clo- yeah. at, at a closed brewery, Some somehow all these up. people keep showing up. It's very bizarre. <laughs> It's you know when when we have our own studio, Daryl. You know it'll be harder for people to break in on us like only this. because we're behind the window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll always go back to this. So in the other podcast I did, the other guy gave me so much shit because we originally used to record in his kitchen, and he had a window that faced the road. That's good. And it was M fucking twenty nine. Squirrel. So all these little, squirrel. What? <laughs> I found it. It's That's right exactly what it was because all these cool jeeps and trucks and shit that passed by like well hey would you look at that that's really cool so what i miss i don't know man like i i feel like maybe i'm just not as as drunk because like to me i look around and everything is fucking chaos like every three minutes something everything just devolves into chaos chaos. you're not drunk i'm pretty close to there but i've also been fishing maybe maybe i should be the producer and not you know on the show like hey boys let's wrangle this let's talk about you want to be responsible (laughs) i mean where's the fun of that no but unfortunately someone has to be Ain't gonna be me. So what? Good do, job. I don't think that we've really discussed this oh, wait, imperial stout to wait, extent enough. Is that the one that's in here? Yes, this is, is the Russian oh, imperial stout. From I'm not founders. gonna lie. I've totally. I'm sorry. Not just so so we did start. We Johnny started. Yes. How does Johnny do it? Don't I try it. Johnny's way. Yeah. Do you just, just, just. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Slurp and. There we go. That's. 
And he completed it. <laughs> Told you it was happening. He <laughs> completed it. <laughs> I wish you guys could see that it literally exploded all over his face. All over his face. <laughs> it went in my nose. <laughs> Don't do Johnny's yeah, side. Nice. <laughs> I'm so glad that that transpired as awfully as it did. <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> it's on the mic. The mic is now officially, uh, it's christened. I don't give a shit what it dry. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that's a great sound. Oh, shit. Hey, you know what I just realized? What? You guys are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I never claimed to be smart. <laughs> How often do do you or I get to be responsible? <laughs> Every third episode, apparently. Yeah. This one time in band camp. Oh, oh shit! He's snorting beer. I've heard stories from friends of mine who have been to band camp. That is a dirty and they're, sick fucking place. Crazy. All right. So yeah, anyway, no. yeah. Back to the back beer to would be a nice Founders thing. Imperial like, Stout. Um, you know, I've had a lot of Imperial Stouts. We all have. Not my favorite, but not bad either. I, I like Imperial Stouts. You know, I do too. This Imperial Stouts tastes good through the mouth, not the nose. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you've got you've got such a luxurious head on your beer. I don't know how you got it so creamy, but Back like it wall. looks. Yeah, great. that's yeah. more than I do when I when I'm pouring head. That's, I that's a good head on that. I'll be honest, I don't even remember the description of the beer. To so the there doing. isn't one. So wait, let's see. There isn't one. Taste the beer and tell us what you taste. Do you want to taste mine? Yeah, because no. the... We've already done this twice, I think. There's no description on the label. He's doing it again. <laughs> First thing you taste is... Chocolate. A little bit of light chocolate. Does it taste anything like cums? No. <laughs> no, nothing like cums. How about like okay. smoke? <laughs> smoke. I, there, there's definitely a smoky resonance to it. All right, I'm going to try this. Oh, Let's see how Is it there an oaky me. afterbirth? <laughs> I don't know if I call it afterbirth because it's a little bit of that. I think a little bit of that oaky afterbirth, you know. <laughs> Extra placenta. Oh, Jesus Christ! I just spit all over my fucking laptop. So this isn't bad. Strong smoke. The Panther Cub, though, mm-hmm. out of the three. Oh, well, Panther yeah. Cub is I so think good. That's I'd, I'd probably. Yes. I mean, I would probably put them both. I would drink them for different reasons. Like I think if I wanted an Imperial Stout. I the the imperial stout well, would definitely yeah. hit that. If I wanted something like if I wanted like a flavored imperial stout, the Panther Cub would hit that note. Like Panther Cub's slightly more dessert, this slightly more kind of just everyday drinker. Oh now now he's telling oh, us for a time. Like now now, now now he's a professional. About, I think he said ballpark twenty minutes. About twenty six minutes. Yeah, now he's a professional. I see how it is. I was I didn't know. We were what was checking going and on. checking. The thing is, I never changed anything. You know what? I'm gonna start doing that. Hold on. on. Did it work? Well, no, you got to get everyone's attention. Oh, you you numbers. point to that and playing the time, and then you give, you know, two. So normally, while six, we're doing the podcast, we have hand signals. Yeah. yeah. The first episode, Some of second them episode involved. normally go good. By the third episode, hands are just we're wailing everywhere. Fuck. Yeah, but there's... No, I've never changed my communications. <laughs> we should my start... My communications are made the same. Y'all's understanding <laughs> of them gets fucked. We should start doing a, a fourth episode. Languages. We should start doing four oh, episodes today really just to I'm see totally how shitty they can get. You know, I don't know how you guys made past three. It's you have to pace yourself, and some of us don't. We pace ourselves. I did. Oh, we. Some, some of, of us don't. don't. Yeah. We were pacing ourselves. So the terminology we use is functional alcoholics. No, uh, hobbyist. 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 Extreme sorry, hobbyist. Functional yeah. extreme hobbyist. I'm pretty yeah. sure I invented those I was those going terms. with married. Extreme hobbyist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have that problem. <laughs> I don't have that problem or limitation. And the the, the irony is. Uh, Hopefully, it got oddly quiet. Hopefully, the conversation's like nothing bad because Mike's gonna pick every. Oh yeah, it'll, <laughs> it'll pick up every word you guys have so, said. So I, okay, I have fine. a friend last night, Just and sure I'm gonna summarize say, the whole story. Is they're expecting okay. and they're talking about <laughs> potentially getting married. So if they well, get every t- everyone's engaged or out, you know finalizing the details. Oh. I'm the only yeah. single motherfucker left in all of my friend group. Well, that's sad. Anyway. Yeah, I know. In your friend group? So, you know what? I, I'm I, the only single dude left in my friend group. I've noticed something. You're married. You're married. You're married. Fuck all oh of you. Oh, my God. Where'd this and ring come from? And everybody else here is married, so Wait. fuck off. <laughs> my <laughs> wife had a sister. Is, is, is she single, hot, and does she have low self-esteem? She doesn't have a sister. I, I'm a she host. has three brothers. <laughs> 
I'm out. I am 100%. He can, he can out. pick one of those. No. So no. I, I noticed something interesting, like throughout That's today, it, you're like going to my next like adventure. Johnny and Phil, because they're across from each other, keep talking to each other, and then Daryl and we I do. do. We should like have like. I can't. We look should right. when we broadcast. We should Offset. do like the Last Supper. Like we should all sit on one <laughs> side of the table. <laughs> And the conversations would be like driven towards the beer well, in front of you. I will uh, say you are better to look at, though. Thank you, thank you. I could say the same about you, Daryl. You know, we are. <laughs> I some don't know how to respond to this. I feel we should flip them both off, but I know. But I feel we like won't I see them. I'm We're okay. Each yep. other, so We're just, I'm a staring dreamingly okay with not being attracted eyes. to another male. So, I think I just got dissed in a yeah. good way. And I, I fucking <laughs> fell into that. I, this I show sucks. You. Yeah, this, this, I, I, you know. I didn't want to say it, but since Daryl said it. I don't want to be attracted to another man. I'm okay with that. We're not not talking about that. Next time we're going to ball games to shut them up. <laughs> They're gonna like it. No, that's sticky. gonna make it. You know, let's let's get a, a ball gag with a kazoo on the end, so at least they could be entertaining. <laughs> when they... Look at me and my sides. If I get a ball gag, I'm gonna fucking pass out. And I a can't kazoo. Breathe. No, you can breathe through your nose. <laughs> or the now, kazoo. Wait, or wait. the kazoo. Oh, imagine me with a ball gag. <laughs> you just imagined it. You just imagined. You think that's the first time? <laughs> I tried to pretend like this hasn't been on my top ten list for a while. Can we put a disclaimer in right now for our listeners? Uh, yeah, the, every every <laughs> right one, every three weeks the episodes are gonna be off the rails. Like, oh yeah, that's why that's why I said we should do you know three of maybe the third one just says that's that's the bonus one like you can go and listen to and be disappointed in. Oh. Well, that was supposed to be the whole deal. But... That's the fourth one. If, well, the, I don't I mean, think we, we can, can do, do four. four. The stripper shows up. Let's in 10 do more four. Minutes. Well, you okay. know, we got two new adventures in eight minutes. It, it's one or two, you guys. Open you should do it. You should do an open broadcast. You have eight broadcast. minutes for our music. Starts. Let everybody walk in. You can pause the music. We can do a no, whole that other episode great. in that amount of time. It's already sounding like shit. These microphones are what so sensitive the that everything comes so, out. So, so in eight mm-hmm. in eight minutes, the music so you know starts. The Wait, no. are they so sensitive they can hear my mind? Yeah. I mean, maybe that's not good. You ever see the Facebook thing? We started talking about it last last time we recorded. Well, um, our our guest episode, our guest speaker Mel uh, does a wrestling podcast. Yeah, Mel's awesome. Yeah, I fucking love Mel and Bob. Cheers to Hell you. Yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Yeah, they're okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so they only dress up like Vikings. That's and bad. they, yeah, they bring swords badass. and like drinking glasses and shit. Okay, if someone brings a sword and a drink, um, that's pretty fucking awesome. Is that a challenge? No, I want okay. both. Oh, man, I was, I'm gonna bring real shit. I ain't gonna bring fake shit. I'll bring real shit. Did you guys drink Bob, all the imperial? You guys Bob's more imperial? Zero. We're working on it. Anyways, uh, Anybody else? what point was it? No. I'm, <laughs> He's I'm empty. What point when, was I making? When Johnny's buzzed, you know we drink too much. Oh, yeah. I told oh, him yeah. I'm driving him home. Well, I'm not. My nah. wife is. When the I'll, biggest guy. I'll get a sandwich at lunch. <laughs> jo- Johnny's taken us off the rails <laughs> See, this is more the times than fact. I can count. You know, you more know times what I am, I though? Count. Hey, I learned I'm how to mute him today. I'm a guy stuck in a skinny man's body. It won't matter. I'm the opposite. Let's, this is, we should hang out. We could. We did. We designed uh, Team We Drink. We did. And we should hang out again. We can do this. I can't wait till the show has cameras so, like, you can, you know, see my face. <laughs> that just means we're going to no, get canceled a lot quicker. Then Philip and Johnny will never wear clothes. <laughs> okay. Hey, I made a promise. I'm okay. interested. One time. One fucking time I fucked that up. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? This is. This is this hey, hey, look. I, have a I don't know what to say. I don't know I don't what to say. I don't either at this point. How, what, what time are we at here? Please be 30 minutes. You have like five <laughs> minutes left before you have to shut it off. Yeah, before the music kicks on and then we get copyrighted. No, no, we have like five minutes and it's like, you have to shut the audio yeah, off. Yeah, that's what he said. I'll keep recording. I don't fucking care. What, what are we <laughs> Disc, I what muted. Is don't tell him. Daryl knows. <laughs> Bitch, these are your mics. You know you don't need to yell. Welcome back to Johnny Orton, John High Gravity. <laughs> you could you could whisper from your microphone and this thing would pick it up. Not 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 very clear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Why do we do this? Like, is I don't know. Because there's beer. Dumb. I guess, man. I, I, I think I think we're we at just like wanna, 32 minutes. This I think we just want to drink it. beer, and the microphones give us an excuse to do it more excessively than normal. Wait, where did we call? Where did we talk about the college stuff? Was that last episode? Or the episode before that? Or? I don't fucking remember. I don't have no idea remember. what you're talking about. Don't ask me to remember best conversation. What do you mean college stuff? What, you what guys were talking about? Like you went to college? Oh, I went that to college. Like oh, yeah. went to college. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if that was recorded. And all I know is I didn't go to college. College, but I still get a drink. I mean, I, I so no matter what out. you do in life, all you know is you can still drink. Ah, there's some good sage like advice. You know, but if you I got divorced and lost my kids, home. but at least you can still you drink. Can still, <laughs> if you're still here on this podcast, I'm sorry. I I don't drink. I'm sorry. If, if you, you need off. help, reach out and we'll contact you with a phone number for what, who you I, can Johnny call. Johnny apologized, but, you can but still I don't feel drink. like he meant it. Like he's, no. I did. So everyone, hey, I, know, I know people going through the process. No, I meant apologize for what you've done to this episode. Oh, this no, is, I will <laughs> never apologize for what I've done. We're here because of what we've all, all put I gotta say this. is, you're welcome. Oh, it was the, the song, yeah, The Rock, right? <laughs> What can I say except you're, you're welcome. welcome? Pretty impressive. Yeah. Moana? I've yeah. seen that movie half a time, but yeah. I know that part. I've only seen we it. We got to keep this going because this episode's a little shorter than the other three. I, I zoomed out to done. see everything. No, but well, yeah. you should I mean, be used to being a little short. Do we have another beer? Do we have another beer? Do we have another beer? I mean, we not have another beer? I, actually, I really wish people could see this because there's like, I see one, two, three, three beers. Four, five, one, six, two, three, two, three, three, four, eight five, beers. six, seven, eight, what nine, 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 nine empty. Hey, those are empty. Those are full. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, draw you boys in. unempty. I'm going to draw you boys in. And then 12 taps. We're going to have something a little bit special. Oh. So I request that you be on your best shh, behavior shh, shh. <laughs> shut the happen. fuck up attention all podcast enthusiasts and cat lovers alike have you ever daydreamed about perfecting the delicate art of cat milking well you're not alone in your pursuits here's to you mr or ms cat milker extraordinaire tiptoeing through the feline world with a milking stool in one hand and a dream in your heart with the stealth of a cat burglar and the precision of a Swiss watchmaker, you gently coax those tiny teats, turning your passion for cats into a lactose-laden reality. Oh, who are we kidding? It's possibly the most unusual job we've heard. You deftly avoid the business end of a hiss while collecting what, we can only assume, is the key ingredient to the world's smallest cheese platter. Tiny Brie, Enione. Your day is spent surrounded by whiskers and purrs, wearing a name tag that reads Professional Cat Milker. And honestly, we wouldn't mind having that on a business card. While podcasts fill the airwaves discussing politics, self-help, and true crime, there you sit, ready to pounce on the opportunity to talk tabby teats on the Milking Muse Hour. To those who form bonds stronger than kibble, who possess the courage to reach where no hands have reached before, Here's to you, O oh Grand Milker of the Feline. You keep doing Mew because someone's got to do it. They say every cat has nine lives, but you, dear friends, have truly mastered living outside the box. Join us next time when we tip our hats to another unsung hero in the most whisker-licking, tail-twitching way possible. If you're a clam, shh. I like that. Clams know how to shut the fuck up. <laughs> So, <laughs> give me back my glass before you laugh yourself to death. It's a bit so bad. It's not even funny. I just tickled. Hey, Jesus that idea of just us doing a show, kind of going for that right now. You know, now. Oh, yeah, totally we, we can change, or we could just change the name to uh, Daryl and Jim Babysit. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a, this is a, a really wonderful beer that I know we've had on the podcast before, but this one is slightly different. This is a different uh, year, right? Yeah, 2016 Black Note, and uh, with as you much... have to drink the rest. I can't reach your fucking glass out <laughs> till you it. empty. So Do you great. want to empty? Give me your fucking glass. Were, were we 30 seconds past me asking them to behave? Were we even 30 seconds past? <laughs> Meow. Do your best. <laughs> I, I believe in you. I believe you I can both be on your best behavior. I, I think you can. That, yeah, I know. Am I actually on or am I muted? You're no, muted. you've never been You're muted. Not. God damn it. Okay. So, Black Note. Yeah. 
Bellman. You know, with as many things as I've I've had to say about bells that are you know not so positive. Not back yet. Um, Again, no, you've no, never no. been. The things. <laughs> Bell's Black Note has always been really excellent. Um, it is a stout <laughs> aged in bourbon barrels from Bell's in, you know, northern Michigan. So good for them. Well, I guess it's like it's western Michigan. But either way, uh, Bell's Black Note is a multi-harmony of dark chocolate, espresso, and dried fruit notes. Aged in freshly retired oak bourbon barrels aimed squarely at stout aficionados. Black Note makes a grand statement about the art of the dark. Now, this is 11.2%. Barrel aged beer, and these whispering cucks think that their, you know, voices are not being picked up by the mics. That's why we talked off screen. Fuck off. I saw it. Oh, there's a screen. With my eyes. And we all saw it. So the problem is, the music is going to kick on. Uh, three, three, two, one, dance party. That would have been great. I, I, four, I four, would have been awesome four, if that had been right been awesome. I'll get a pour. Let me get a pour here. Third episode always. <laughs> Everyone pours some black notes. So yeah, this I is. I mean, if we stayed on time, we'd be fine. But we never. I'm gonna pour it like really high. You can do it. Like, oh, you. Hey, a bit, a brother bit. Phil, spilled Son like the rest of us. <laughs> I need a napkin. This is from the the floor. So the black note. This is a little bit of a palate cleanser for us because we've had a lot of uh, kind of random founders I'm beers and a lot of random here. beers today. Uh, this one is kind of a a little bit of a more. Traditional stout, but it's a really good stout typically. Hey, he stole my. He still has a Swedish smell to he it. He stole though. my beer. Why'd you give it to me? <laughs> oh, he totally did. <laughs> I thought he poured it. I'm sitting here looking for a beer, like, what the? F- <laughs> you poured and oh, gave shit. me a beer. I, I poured it. Yeah, but is that like a habit? I just know to give my older brother a beer. It smells bougie. Like, I poured myself rich. a beer and just hand it to him. <laughs> smells I believe rich, the yes. proper it's response to that is that's respect. <laughs> I knew what to do. <laughs> Oh man! I don't think my younger brother's into beer to that level. Just smooth. Though. It is, but I I feel like it's <clears throat> it's Smoke lost it. a little bit to age. I feel like it would have been it's better a little younger. This the, the bottles we've had have been much, a little though. bit younger. The, we had 2018, I think, last time, and we've had uh, 2024 as well. What year is this one? There it is. There it is. Hold on. This is this is I was 2016. Off by 20 minutes or something. Insert like commercial here to avoid having to pay for. Uh, musical response to paying for shit. Oh. We didn't want this. It just happened. Yes. I'm watching Daryl. There you go. He got it to start. It's gonna start up again though. So, so yeah, 2016 Black Note. Um, I feel like it's lost a little bit, but it's still got that really nice kind of like. Java but even if it's lost, it's still good. It's still it a lot is. of flavor. It really is for eight years old for an eight year old beer. It's pretty fantastic. Sounds like a song. It was lost, but then it was found. <laughs> Maybe. Is that the song? I right. feel there needs to be a response to that, but I don't know how to respond. I think that, that. was a perfect response. The song. Yeah, I agree. Well, I think that uh, on that note, I think it's probably best we. Oh, we uh, cut all this. We can't yeah. say anything. We're done. Oh no, we're gonna go and keep now this shit in. Yeah, I think I think on that note, I think with the uh, the music starting to the brewery you starting to open. You yell something into the mic. Yes. Yes. <sighs> I can sit on you and make you say something, but I might kill you when I do this. I'm not. I don't think that's gonna work, Johnny. Can you don't sit say on me? bring I, I it on, cause you know I'll gonna, try that. I don't want money to let this Not with you, sorry. <laughs> no, I know he's worth more than me. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. More music. Yeah, we're trying. I remember the song. Oh, it was like when cut. I was eight. So do here's I, the can thing. I, do you want if me to wrap this up? we talk over the music, we when don't have to cut. worry about it. Do we have to talk louder? Yes, because we have to hide the music that we're talking about. Because if we don't, then we have to hey, pay Johnny, royalties. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, fuck up. With, with that note, <laughs> we, uh, we are at time. We need to wrap this up. So this black note has been fantastic. Very uh, it's delicious. Once again, thanks Thank for you. listening this to is, High Gravity. This is Mr. Jeff, right? Mr. Jeff. No, you're Mr. John. Johnny. I'm are Mr. You, Johnny, but it was Mr. Jeff that brought the dad? beer, was it not? Yes. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Jeff, for sponsoring the beer that provided this you, level Jeff. of entertainment to our alcoholic consumption and enthusiasm. It was everybody's dream hobby. Johnny is drunk. If you didn't learn anything today, at least remember this. Beer is the answer that makes everything better. Can't remember the question, but who cares when you have a cold one in your hand? Remember, everybody, drink responsibly, drink high gravity. Most importantly, drink well. <laughs> okay, not the well. Life's too short for bad beer. Stay, Stay frosty, my friends. friends.